Basic medical science is welcome. Let's talk about pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, also known as PNETs, and we'll spend some time talking about a specific kind called glucagonoma. Right, so what are pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors? These are hormone secreting tumors of the pancreas that derive from neuroendocrine cells. The most important types are glucagonomas, vipomas, somatostatinomas, insulinomas, and gastrinomas. With the exception of insulinomas, PNEDs typically manifest with diarrhea, weight loss, and the normal or elevated blood glucose level. Insulinomas do not affect bowel movements and manifest instead with weight gain and hypoglycemia. Glucagonomas are a rare neuroendocrine tumors of pancreatic alpha cells that secrete glucagon. In more than 50% of the cases, metastasis is present at diagnosis. Clinical features. The clinical features of glucagonomas are weight loss, impaired glucose tolerance, that's diabetes mellitus in 75 to 95% of the cases, chronic diarrhea, deep vein thrombosis, and depression. The other clinical feature that you shouldn't forget in glucagonomas is necrolytic migratory erythema. Right? So this is actually a cutaneous paraneoplastic syndrome that is mainly associated with pancreatic tumors secreting glucagon, but it can also occur in case of hepatitis B and hepatitis C and also in bronchial carcinomas. It's characterized by the occurrence of multiple areas of centrifugally spreading erythema located predominantly on the face, perineum, and lower extremities. It develops into painful and pruritic crust patches with the central zones of bronze colored in duration. It tends to resolve and reappear in a different location. Skin biopsy will show epidermal necrosis. So on this picture, you can see the feet of a patient with pancreatic glucagonoma. Let's look at the diagnosis of glucagonomas, right? So diagnostics actually require high index of suspicion. And laboratory findings include high glucagon, high blood glucose levels, normocytic, normochronic anemia, and on imaging, we can actually locate the tumor. How do we treat glucagonoma? Glycemic control, tumor resection, and if it is inoperable, this analog of somatostatin called octreotide. Right, so this mnemonic helps you to remember uh, the clinical features of glucagonomas. Wait for six days until the glue is dry. Until the glue for glucagonoma is dry. Right. So the six days are decreasing weight, diabetes, dermatitis, diarrhea, deep vein thrombosis, and depression. Wait for six days until the glue is dry. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share with your friends.